let's check out all 12 Lego Muppet minifigures. So the Lego minifigures, these guys are launching May 1st. There are 12 in this series. I went, I actually got them early. So I'm gonna walk you through all 12 of these minifigures. They come in the blind bag, so you don't know what you're getting when you pick them up. If you want to order them, I do have a link down in the description when they are available. So be sure to check that out if you wanna grab some for, your, for yourself. Let me know how you guys do, which ones you pick up down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. So let's go, let's go ahead and open these up and see how we did getting all 12. Oh. Well, we can see exactly which one this is. It is clearly Gonzo. We have paperwork out of the way. We have his legs, which have some really neat printing. They actually are printed on the side. You can see like his pants or dots there uh, and his shoes. So it's really cool that he's got these custom pants along all the sides. You don't usually see the sides printed, which is pretty darn neat. So we have his pants there. Go ahead and add his torso. We have really neat printing here as well. He's got chili peppers going down his sleeves. Yeah, you don't see the sleeve printing as often. Go ahead and add the head. And of course, Camilla here in his hand. And there you go. Of course, we need to start with Kermit. So Kermit comes here with a custom molded head, which has just a ton of detail, looks great. Then we have his banjo, which is again amazing. And I love the silver printing that goes on top of it. He comes with a rainbow for him singing Rainbow Connection. And of course, plenty of custom printing. You can see his shirt there. I guess if you count him wearing a shirt, he's not really wearing a shirt. Whatever you call the frill around his neck, which is also printed along the back two so yeah this is the kermit from the lego minifigures initial series here we have janice she is rocking her guitar there you can see her long blonde hair her head her hat and her hair are all one molded piece so her hair is not removable you see we have a guitar here which does come off she's holding it into her hand which is pretty awesome that it can actually come off and everything we have her printed shirt there in the front as well as her printed pants you can see her hippie pants her shoes down there, and there is a little bit of printing in the back on her shirt that you can kind of see just below her hair. So yeah, this is the Janus of the Lego minifigures of the Muppets. Next we have Fozzie Bear, looks great as always, custom old head. He comes with a banana for him to hold in his hand. Plenty of custom printing around with all of his fur. You can see the backside and the sides of him. Neat details on his head there. He also comes with a stand-up microphone, which is great. So you put this little guy together, and mine actually came, I assume they all do, but came with two extra pieces, uh, an extra microphone, an extra staff, in case you need to swap those out. But man, I love the fact that it comes with a microphone and a banana. Great set for Fozzie. Then we have one of my favorite characters, the Swedish chef. He's got his whole hat on. He comes with two whisks for him to hold in his hands. And down here, some fruit, some fruit, an apple with a face on it, but some fruit that he's gonna cook up. He's got his apron. You can see all the detail on him, his gigantic mustache going on. I will refrain from doing my Swedish chef impression, which I'm sure you've seen if you've seen any of these other videos of people showing up the Muppet ones. But yeah, I love the Swedish chef. So happy I got this in my first round. Here we have Rolf the dog. We have Rolf the dog himself who's holding some sheet music and it's I believe Sonata number no. eight by Beethoven. So I'm going to go ahead and infer that the bust that is sitting next to him is of Beethoven. So it's got like a plaster bust going on. We got a little ghostly face on, removable hair, all that kind of fun stuff. I don't know if you actually play the sheet music. I assume you can because they've done details like that in the past with sheet music, but really neat and I'm glad he's able to hold on to it. It is a little bit hard to see in the lighting, but he does have fur printed all over his body. It's like printed in black where he's like a dark brown. So it's a little hard to see in some of the lighting there. You can see it right there, but yeah, he's got printing all around his body. Don't skimp on the details here with Rolf the dog. Oh yes, it is the pig herself, the notorious P.I.G. Miss Piggy. She comes with a marquee sign. So it's like a two by three tile instead of a two by two square tile. She has her gown on. She is the biggest head, I think, of all of them. She's got so much hair going on, it's all molded onto there. But yeah, she's got her dress on. She's got her marquee sign, which she's not easily hold on to, but you can get her to hold on to it. There is printing on her back, slightly hidden by her hair. Let me see, I'm apologizing for the focus as I try to get this back on her hand. Um, cause there's no other great way to hold on to it. Just kind of setting it there with her. But yeah, she's got her marquee sign. There she is, the infamous Miss Piggy. Two more of my favorites. We have Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, complete with holding a uh, 
speaker, I want to say, in his hand. He's got his whole outfit on. He's got his glasses up there. There's not a ton of printing on him. I mean, he is in a lab suit, so there's not a lot going on. So if you turn him around, yeah, he's just he's just in white. So there's no like custom else printing there, just the front of his outfit there. And then we have Beaker, of course, who does have a tiny little um, uh, walkie-talkie going on, I believe. Maybe not a walkie-talkie, maybe just like a, a meter, a Geiger counter, something going on. But he's got a meter, a walkie-talkie held in his hand. Beaker's great. I freaking love his face here. Such an awesome-looking face that they molded on him. So, yeah, we've got uh, Dr. Honeydew as well as Beaker. Who can forget these two guys? Of course, it is Waldorf and Statler. If you are wondering which one is which, you can't keep them straight. Statler here is the one with the computer, and then Waldorf here is the one with the T and the ZZZ tile. So if we take a little bit closer look at them uh, individually. So Waldorf here, again, with the T, he has two teacups, one in his hand and one he can sit down. That way Statler can have some as well. Can't forget, they gotta each have some tea. Then he has a sleeping tile. Otherwise, he's in a very fancy little suit. It is black on brown printing, which is a little hard to see, but yes, it is there. So he looks great and dapper in his suit. And then we move over here to Statler with his dark blue suit. Again, still looking great on his own, but I love the computer. I think the computer is phenomenal. So he is actually talking to Scooter on like a FaceTime call. He's like the PA basically for the Muppets, if you didn't know. Again, the computer is so cool. It's so tiny. There's a little keyboard there. It can even close. So yeah, he's got a little computer that he's watching these on, maybe FaceTiming, who knows. But yeah, he's got a little computer that comes with him. He can hold on to it. It's just a little awkward if I kind of try to do it. Yeah, I mean, I guess that technically works, right? Like, yeah, he's got it. So yeah, we have Waldorf and Statler here in Lego minifigure form. Okay, so this is the last one, and again, another one of my favorites. I just like the Muppets a whole lot, but Animal here requires some assembly, one of the few that actually needs some putting together other than just his body. So we can go ahead and get his body together real quick, get his head on there. Perfect, looks great. You gotta kind of follow along with the instructions here because he is a little complicated putting together his whole drum set piece. So I need this guy here, which is gonna get this one by one tile. Then I'm gonna add this drum head. We're going to stick another one by one tile right here into the other end of it, something like that. I'm trying to keep this on camera if it's a little difficult uh, while I'm looking at the actual instructions of all this. So then we need to put his little monster face on the drum set. We also need one of these angled ones here at the top. Oh, I forgot to put this in. Riveting folks, riveting. So we're gonna go ahead and add this here, which is where we're gonna attach our drum and our cymbals. So one side is going to get the drum, while the other back here is gonna get a cymbal. So it should look something like that when it is put all together. There are a few extra pieces to this build because there are so many little ones, so just in case you need them. Also can't forget the tiny little drumsticks. You gotta break these apart here and take them off of their stem, but you have two tiny little drumsticks for Animal to hold. So there he is, there's Animal in all his glory with everything appropriately positioned. So his little drum kit with his bass drum at the bottom, we got a snare at the top and then a cymbal on the other side. We got his logo on the front of it all. He's got two drumsticks in his hand. He's going to town on all of that. You can see the printing on him. Very detailed, got some metallic prints, like his little uh, bangles on his wrist is very neat. His collar, you can see it a little bit along the back. Yeah, you can see it as it hits the light, reflective. Super cool, this is definitely one of the more intricate, more detailed builds in uh, the Lego Muppet minifigures. So one more time, here they all are. We have Janice, Waldorf and Statler, Animal, we've got Rolf the dog, we have Beaker and Dr. Honeydew in the back, we have Fozzie Bear in the front, We've got Gonzo, Ms. Piggy, Kermit himself, and the Swedish chef. So that's it. I was pretty darn lucky to get all 12 of these on my first try. Uh, let me know if you guys ended up picking these up or which characters you got or are hoping to get down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. As I mentioned at the beginning, I do have a link for these when they are available in the description. So use that link, help me out a little bit along the way, and stay tuned. I got more Lego content and other cool stuff. Head your way.